There are a lot of elements that go into putting together an effective grant application to the Ontario Arts Council. Support material is the most important. We'd like to offer you some tips and advice. Grant applications are typically made up of these components. The application form, the artist statement, the resume, the budget, if required, and the support material. Once your application is received, the program officer assembles a jury to review applications and make decisions on who will receive a grant based on the program's criteria. Visual support material is the most important part of your grant application in visual arts and craft programs. It can make or break your application. It shows the jury your work as an artist. Excellent documentation of your art is a must, so be meticulous. Read the program guidelines carefully. Different grant programs require different kinds of support material. Submit the required number of support materials and no more. Submit a strong, cohesive selection of recent work. Select examples that are relevant to the aims of your proposal. It's important not to confuse the jury with the mixed bag of work. Ensure that your images and other support materials are formatted to the current technical specifications detailed in the grant application form. Formats can change frequently, so double check the guidelines. Please test all of your support materials thoroughly to make sure they are formatted correctly and run smoothly. The Ontario Arts Council works in a PC environment, so test your materials on a PC computer. Do not include artworks created while you were a student, or original artworks including bookworks and photographs, diagrams, sketches, photos, printouts or photocopies. Depending on the type of work you do, you may submit still images or audiovisual documentation. Order and number your digital files in chronological order, beginning with the earliest work. Use the support material list to identify what you are submitting. Here are some important things to consider in order to achieve the best possible quality. Is the lighting appropriate? Is the image focused in high resolution? Is the image sized properly? Is the background neutral? Each image may show only one view of the work. Do not include extra views or details within the same shot. Use a separate image to present detail shots or alternate views of a piece. There are, however, a few exceptions. Up to two shots of exhibitions that feature your work only may be included. Also, art or craft works created in multiples or sets may be shown in a single image. Do not include text with your still images. If you are working in installation, video, audio, performance art, or electronic media, you may submit audiovisual material in combination with or in place of still images. For each minute of audiovisual material, subtract one still image. Video should be used to document art that moves and should not be promotional or gallery produced. Remember to provide clear directions on start and stop times for viewing. For performance art pieces, high quality, well lit video documentation is preferred, edited to show the progression of the piece. A combination of video and still images of past performances may also be submitted. Do not include an artist statement in the video. For interactive kinetic works and installation works, you may include video as well as still images. Following the support material guidelines closely will give you the best possible chance of succeeding with your grant application. For more information, visit www.arts.on.ca.